let's take a look at how the Strike Eagle could be getting an air-to-ground upgrade known as Project Strike Rodeo. Recently, the Air Force conducted a munitions proof of concept where five AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missiles, or JASSMs, were mounted on a single F-15E Strike Eagle. The effort has been dubbed Project Strike Rodeo, which explores the concept of self-escorting fighters entering into highly contested airspace. Today, we will take a closer look at Project Strike Rodeo and how it could be yet another game changer for the F-15. Project Strike Rodeo began as a grassroots initiative back in January of 2021, when a group of Air Force tacticians were working through a scenario which relied on the ability of fighters to escort bombers loaded with standoff munitions to their release point in highly contested environments. Rather than risk a single bomber to deploy a salvo of AGM-158s, the tacticians began to consider using a formation of fighters instead. This would allow for distribution of mission risk while simultaneously reducing the size and complexity of the overall mission. However, today the maximum number of AGM-158s that can be carried by any fighter is two, which would make the number of fighters needed to equal one bomber's payload too numerous, offsetting any advantage that may be gained. Yet, if there was a way for a capable fighter to carry more than two AGM-158s, then in theory the concept would work. Given its size, fuel and payload capacity, the F-15E Strike Eagle is the primary candidate for this task. Enter the 53rd Wing at Eglin Air Force Base. A small team made up of the 53rd Wing, the Air Force Life Cycle Management Center, and the 96th Test Wing was formed to investigate a way to mount more AGM-158s on the Strike Eagle. The problem was that the AGM-158 was designed to be loaded directly out of their shipping containers and as such was too large to fit under the Eagle without damaging the main landing gear. The team at Eglin came up with new weapon loading procedures while also designing and manufacturing a special loading tool that was needed to execute these procedures. This in turn drew the interest of the F-15 System Program Office, which granted funding to execute a load test and actually fit additional AGM-158s on the Eagle. Incredibly, in May of 2021, an F-15E at Eglin, belonging to the 85th Test and Evaluation Squadron, was fitted with five AGM-158s, which is more than twice the number typically carried by any fighter today. Amazingly, Project Strike Rodeo went from concept to execution in just five months. It should be noted that this entire effort was self-started, meaning the men and women who identified this potential solution took it upon themselves to undertake the project without specific requirements or formal tasking from higher headquarters. And according to Lieutenant Colonel Mike Benitez, who is the 53rd Wing Director of Staff, quote, this is a squadron innovation effort with operational and strategic implications. Project Strike Rodeo is all about creating options for combat commanders, which ultimately can be used to create multiple dilemmas for the adversary, end quote. Now, let's take a deeper dive into why the F-15E is the perfect platform for such an initiative. Aside from its large payload capacity, the F-15 Eagle is an excellent platform, as it is the embodiment of the air superiority fighter, having been in continuous service with the United States Air Force for nearly 50 years. A fighter with an unprecedented 100 plus to zero kill ratio, the F-15 was made even better by the introduction of the two-seat long-range strike fighter version known as the F-15E Strike Eagle. Today, the F-15E is the most requested asset for Middle East combat operations. The reason? Loiter or on-station time. The Strike Eagle can carry as much fuel as its empty weight. To put that in context, the F-15E can carry as much fuel as the total weight of a fully fueled F-16 in the clean configuration. Along with this, the Strike Eagle has a Weapon System Officer or WSO, better known as WISO, which acts as another brain and set of eyes in the cockpit. The WISO has various dedicated standardized roles, for example during close air support mission, the WISO exclusively uses the targeting pod, freeing up the pilot and minimizing the time to kill chain. The Strike Eagle also makes use of one of the best actively electronically scanned array or AESA radars in service. The F-15E's AN-APG-82 AESA radar represents a continuous evolution of the F-15 sensor suite providing unprecedented situational awareness, jamming capabilities, and range. The F-15's large size is an asset here, allowing it to fit a much larger and more potent radar sensor package 
than would be possible to fit in smaller fighters. Additionally, the F-15 Strike Eagle makes use of a built-in satellite radio, allowing it to communicate over the horizon to critical nodes or assets. For these reasons, a flight of F-15Es, each armed with five AGM-158s, would present a unique challenge to a near-peer adversary. Not only can the Strike Eagle deliver the payloads at high speeds, each Eagle is capable of processing its own defensive electronic countermeasures. Additionally, once the AGM-158s are fired at standoff range, which is typically outside the range of static enemy air defenses, the Strike Eagles would then become unburdened fighters, which can compete with enemy fighters, as opposed to an empty, vulnerable bomber. And while there still are mission needs for long-range, high-payload bombers such as the B-52 and B-2, the tactical flexibility that a flight of Strike Eagles presents is unmatched, as upon completing the standoff mission, they could be rearmed and refueled for another air-to-ground sortie or an air-to-air -air mission. The AGM-158 itself is a potent weapon. Featuring a 1,000-pound armor-piercing warhead and low observability or stealth characteristics, the AGM-158 is powered by the Teledyne CAE J402 engine, a proven design that is also used in the Harpoon missile. The weapon is mounted with wings folded, which automatically deploy after launch. Featuring an inertial navigation system with GPS updates, a built-in data link allows the AGM-158 to transmit its position in flight and also makes available improved bomb damage assessment. During the missile's terminal phase, an infrared seeker provides thermal homing and target recognition to further increase accuracy. Along with the F-15E Strike Eagle, the AGM-158 can be carried by a wide range of aircraft. These include the F-16, the F-18, the F-35, the B-1, the B-2, and of course, the B-52. Internationally, Poland has acquired the AGM-158 for use on its F-16s, while Australia and Finland have purchased the AGM-158 for use on their F-A-18s. The AGM-158 is as much a deterrent as it is an offensive weapon. As one Finnish official put it, quote, JASSM is just as much as a deterrent capability as it is a strike capability. It makes the enemy pause and think twice about aggressive action because it provides precision strike of a wide range of valuable targets." End quote. And finally, there is also an extended range version of the AGM-158 which entered service in 2014. So what does this mean tactically? The concept of self-escorting fighters, in this case the F-15E Strike Eagles, each armed with up to five AGM-158s, means that if one aircraft is lost in battle, the mission could still continue. This would not be true of a formation of fighters escorting a single bomber armed with multiple AGM-158s. If their bomber were taken out, the mission is over. Project Strike Rodeo is another boost to the long-running and legendary F-15 Eagle. The recent F-15EX, now known as Eagle 2 upgrade, which allows the F-15 to carry some two dozen air-to-air -air missiles, is yet another example. It appears that the Air Force is warming up to the idea that there is still plenty of fight left in fourth generation fighters. And while there still is a need for fifth generation F-22s and F-35s, it appears that today many applications and new tactics exist for the F-15E. One can imagine a scenario with F-15Es launching a salvo of standoff weapons where F-22s and F-35s could be used as forward armed reconnaissance, tasked with identifying and designating the target while allowing time for the Strike Eagles to get into launch range. With its large payload, incredibly long loiter time, high speed, and surprisingly effective agility, the Eagle is still a force to be reckoned with. Imagine a flight of F-15 Eagle Twos with dozens of air-to-air -air missiles escorting a flight of F-15Es with five AGM-158s each. That's some serious firepower. And as of the recording of this video, following the static load tests in May, the Air Force plans to conduct flight tests of a Strike Eagle loaded with five AGM-158s soon. What do you think? Does a flight of Strike Eagles, each equipped with five AGM-158s, constitute a potential change in tactics? How important are fourth generation fighters still today? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to take a moment and thank my Patreons who support this channel and help content like this get created. If you'd like to become a Patreon and support this channel, I'll leave a link in the description below.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and then click on the bell for notifications. Stay safe and see you next time.